Good morning, good morning, Kingdom King, your priest, Peter Spencer, Wisdom Speak. I love you, my brothers and sisters. I love you. Today, I want to read to you 1 Peter 1 and 23 and 1 John 3 and 9. And it reads this wise, 1 Peter 1, 23, being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. 1 John 3 and 9 reads this wise, whosoever is born of God does not commit sin, for a seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. The word is already blessed. So with that being said, my brothers and sisters, let's go to the throne of grace. We come to cover this prayer in the blood of Jesus Christ. And in that blood, we prevail against the wickedness and darkness. And we are covering the blood of the Lamb of God as God, holy and chosen people. We wash our hearts, our thoughts, our unrighteousness, our minds, and our bodies in the blood of Jesus Christ. That we will hear from the kingdom of God and the kingdom of Christ Jesus. The incorruptible seed, the root of David, as we come to the throne of the Almighty, we come to seek your kingdom and your face for the day to be built up in that incorruptible seed, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, I believe you are that seed that came to dwell in my heart. Today, I refuse to let the cares of this world, the thorns of life, and the lack of moisture inhibit me from receiving a hundredfold of the word to grow into true repentance and follow you with all my heart. Now, I don't yet know the jargon of this life, but I want to know you for the pardon of my sin that you bore on Calvary Cross. So today, the life of the seed, I come to ask of you to purge and prune me of all unrighteousness, that I will be made whole. Wash me and purge me with the blood of you, the true Lamb of God. Help me to grow into what you will have me to grow in, you Jesus the Christ, the seed of life that it will bring up into everlasting life. Life is short, and I truly want to be righteous in righteous fellowship and have a working relationship with you, Jesus. So today, water me with the water of your word today that I will continue to grow as I am supposed to. Help care for me in love. Let righteous fellowship be that what holds my branches up in support. Guide me in all spirit and all truth. Let me hear the sweet communion of the Holy Ghost and allow the sun to shine on me for perfect growth. Hear my cry and teach me, Christ, today. This I pray to you, the seed of life, in your holy and righteous name, Jesus, you are the Christ. Amen, amen, and amen. I love you, kingdom. You have an awesome and wonderful day.